Well, a new White House task force aims to crack down on migrant child labor. This in the wake of a New York Times investigation that identified more than 100 migrant children, some as young as 12 years old, who say they were working overnight shifts and at dangerous jobs for U.S. companies. And joining us tonight in our studio with more on this is Alfonso Aguilar, political director for Americano Media. Alfonso, great to have you with us. Happy to be with you. So what more can you tell, tell us about this? Well, it's incredible they're creating a, a task force to deal with this when they've actually created this crisis. Uh, with their uh, uh, open border policies, they're encouraging uh, this massive movements of people that facilitates child trafficking. Last year, we had a record number of uh, unaccompanied minors arrive at the southern border, 130,000. Last year, uh, over 3,800 uh, minors were employed in, pro in over 800 corporations around the country. Sadly, uh, it's child trafficking not only to put them to work, but also for the sex trade. So it's ironic because this administration said that they wanted to create a system that's more humane, uh, more moral, but certainly this is not humane. We're encouraging this very dangerous trip to the border where these children are t being taken advantage of and they're being trafficked many for sex trafficking. So what can be done is certainly we look, have to look at vetting because a lot of these children are surrendering to the border. Border Patrol, but often because the Border Patrol is so overwhelmed, they release these kids, these children, to individuals who claim to be their relatives, but it turns out that they're traffickers. Mm. So uh, that's very scary when our own government officials inadvertently are surrendering uh, children, minors, uh, as young as 12 or perhaps even younger to, uh, to traffickers. The other thing I, I think that uh, immigration uh, uh, agencies have to look at uh, doing enforcement at labor sites, investigation and prosecution. This is the only way to deal with this. But at the very end, if we continue uh, to ignore uh, the border security, if we don't take concrete steps to strengthen border security from a wall system to um, uh, strengthening our border patrol with more numbers, using new technology, we're going to continue to have the situation. And as I've said, this massive movement of, of people truly facilitates this. And we know of 130,000 unaccompanied minors that arrived last year because they were detained by the, by the immigration, by the Border Patrol. But how many actually entered without us knowing? This is a, travi a travesty. It's a humanitarian situation. The administration created it. I'm happy they're paying attention to it now, but the only way to, f to put an end to this is to stop these policies that encourage people to migrate uh, in such numbers to our southern border. Yeah, House Republicans uh, recently had a hearing down in Texas about the border. Do you think anything will come from this? Well, I think Republicans are paying attention to it. Sadly, uh, Democrats didn't show up to that hearing. So I am concerned that this administration is putting in place border policies that not even Democratic presses in the past, Clinton or Obama, uh, uh, followed. It's, it's, they're liberalizing the asylum system so anybody can show up on the border, uh, surrender to the Border Patrol, and ask for a, asylum, even though they may not have a legitimate claim for asylum. They're going to be processed and allowed into the country. That's the main reason we have so many people coming, because they, they know now that they can enter even without having to, to try to do it illegally. They just need to surrender to our, to our Border Patrol. We've had, since this administration started, about 5 million people arrive at our southern border. You know, a, a good chunk of, 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 of those people have already entered the U.S. So this is a very difficult situation, but unfortunately, this administration hasn't been doing anything to try to uh, take operational control of the border. And, we, we have uh, uh, less than a minute left, but I'm curious what else you're following right now. Well, in Americano Media, we're paying a lot of attention to inflation. Inflation is hurting Hispanic communities disproportionately. Uh, they see an incredible in increase in, in, in basic uh, um, uh, foodstuffs, bread, eggs, coffee at, at markets, but also the increase in, 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 price of, in prices of, of, of gas, of, of oil. So uh, they want to have a pro broad conversation and try to understand how uh, uh, excessive government spending and also this this war that the Biden administration has uh, is fighting against fossil fuels is is actually leading to increased prices in oil and gas. Yeah. We have to leave it right there. Unfortunately, Alfonso, great to be with you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for your time.